Good morning everyone. It is Tuesday morning, the 14th of July. I'm going to come and read together this morning probably the best known of the Psalms, Psalm 23. Uh, again, I'm reading this in the New Living Translation. Uh, the reason for that will become clear just as we go along. But let's read Psalm 23 together. Lord, my shepherd, I have all that I need. He lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me beside peaceful streams. He renews my strength. He guides me along right paths, bringing honour to his name. Even when I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid, for you are close beside me. Your rod and your staff protect and comfort me. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You honour me by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessings. Surely you your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life and I will live in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. I said this is a New Living Translation that I'm reading and the reason that for that I'd said it would become clear and explain. Probably the first verse of um, the 23rd Psalm. I mean most of us as we have been growing up and learning it, if you're of a certain age, you would have learned it in probably in the King James Version, and then in the NIV, and you think of something along the lines of, the Lord of my the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. New Living Translation puts it, the Lord is my shepherd, I have all that I need. And that word want over the years has changed in its meaning. Um, I have all that I want, in its purest form, is talking about having all that we need all that we need for life. Whereas whenever we think of want now, we think of it in a different way. I want that item of clothing. I want that car. Uh, I want that toy. You know, want has a different, has a different slant to it now. So that's why I love what the New Living Translation puts it. The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. Just rolling it in with verse two. He lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me beside peaceful streams. It's talking about how God provides, how God provides what we need. Now, again, you can translate that and it's not just, it's not about the physical, but it's about the spiritual. So he lets me rest in green meadows. A shepherd would have taken his sheep to somewhere where there was lush food, somewhere where there was plenty for them to eat. And then, as it says in the end of verse two, he leads me beside peaceful streams. Somewhere, a shepherd would have led his sheep somewhere where it was safe, to drink. You don't take your sheep to somewhere where there's a, a rapidly flowing river, where they're in, they're in danger of if they, sh if they go into it to, 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 to get water, that they'll get swept away. You take them somewhere where they'll get what they need in in safety. And, and that's what the start of that psalm is all about. You know, we could spend all week going through the psalm and different thoughts of the day, but just for today, the Lord is my shepherd, I have all that I need. God provides what we need. Not what we want, but what we need. And what we need is to be fed and nurtured by him. So that's why he lets us rest in green meadows, why he leads us beside peaceful streams. He gives us his word to feed and to nourish us. He gives us his Holy Spirit to guide us, uh, to help us to understand his word. He gives us his Holy Spirit to remind us of the promises of his word. And to remind us how we should live for him. And he doesn't force us. He brings us and it's up to us if we will partake of what he has given to us. If we, if we will eat that lush green grass, if we'll drink from those peaceful streams. It's a bit like his word. Um, he doesn't force us to read it. But we are encouraged to knowing that it will help us. It will instruct us. It will guide us. It will lift us up whenever we're feeling down. It will tell us off whenever we have done wrong. It will show us how God wants us to live and it will show us why because God wants us to have that relationship with him have what he has designed us to be what he has created us to be people who worship him so there you go Psalm 23 like I said we could come back to that every day the rest of this week with different thoughts but we'll continue to read through the rest of the Psalms this week but today as you head out in the day just remember God gives you what you need and what we need is that relationship with him. So let's pray this morning.
Heavenly Father, thank you for what you provide for us. Thank you for your word. Thank you for the teaching that it gives us. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Lord, how your Holy Spirit helps us as we talk to you, as we pray to you, especially when we don't have the words. How your Holy Spirit reminds us of the promises in your word and helps us to understand your word. Lord, just to have that sense of you with us everywhere, we thank you for that. Uh, and for Christ and what he has done for us. Lord, we live in a world that is full of wants. And Lord, it's, it's an imbalanced world because of that. We just pray that the world would be realigned as such, Father. That the world would see exactly what it needs. That it needs you. And that people would turn to you. Lord, as we, as we live for you this, this day and this week, help us to be salt and light. Help us to let others see the love that you have for them, that they would turn to you and start that relationship with you. And help us, Father, in our relationship with you. Help us to be able to talk to you, to listen to you, to read your word. Help us to draw closer to you each and every day, we pray. So Lord, go with us this day. Help us be with all those who are back at work Father, again, just keep them safe. For those who are still furloughed, Lord, just be close to them. Just when we have that sense of your presence now and always. Father, thank you. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thanks, folks, for joining with me this morning. Trust that wherever you're up to today, wherever you may be, that you would know God's peace and God's blessing. Take care. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.